In this video, we are going to make some voice clones with an online tool that you could follow along. All this new technique needs is 5 seconds. 5 seconds of someone speaking before we can clone them. Before we jump right at it, let's take a second to thank the contributor of this software and collab script as well as the author of the papers that were implemented. Grab the first link in the description that will direct you to a collab script. Following the good practice, make a copy of the script you drive and make sure the runtime is on GPU. The first cell here sets up your collab with a voice cloning software. Let's execute this. As this cell proceeds, it downloads the actual code, the pre-trained model and initializes the tool once that is done. The second cell is here to get your voice input. You can either record your voice right at this moment or upload an audio file of someone speaking. Let's go with the record option. Then you have a choice of how long you want it to record. Remember, the more data you feed your model, better will be the estimated output because neural net models are data hungry. What fascinates me is this model can give decent results with just about 5 seconds of data. Let's go with 10 seconds. Then hit execute. You might need to allow your browser for the permission to use the microphone. Finally, whenever you are ready to speak, hit the record button. Am I being used? I should stay quiet. Say nothing, jip my mouth and move. But how is that a life? After the recording, you can replay your voice. The final cell will synthesize or clone your voice. You are given a default text. I am overwriting the text to my choice. You can type anything you want in this cell. After it is done cloning, you can play or download the cloned voice clip. A day with the sun is so hot the moon that I can't stop sweating. Are you amused or gripped? Let's go with some non-English text this time. Pretty close, what about changing the input recording to some non-English speaking? One of the two people who tested positive for the novel coronavirus in the United Kingdom is a student at the University of York in Northern England. That is certainly impressive. But I have to criticize the synthesized voice for lacking general human naturalness. Sometimes the pauses are too long. Just for the purpose of curiosity, let's compare my fake or synthesized voice with my original voice in Audacity. I imported both the song clips. The audio track on the top is my actual voice and the other one is synthesized. Life is full of moments, big and small. Some hurt, some feel great. Embrace them all, they make up your story. Life is full of moments, big and small. Some hurt, some feel great. Embrace them all, they make up your story. Life is full of moments, big and small. Some, some hurt, some feel, feel great. Embrace, embrace them all, they make up your story. story. The waveform appears close. The peaks and valleys are adjacent. What about spectrograms? In the spectrograms, frequencies are on vertical axis and type on the horizontal axis. And the color represents the energy of the voice at that particular frequency and time. The spectrograms of both fake and real are comparable. I would say the model is in its mediocre level, but with few more upgrades, it is up there. For learning the workflow, there is a great video by 2 minute paper. What a time to be alive. Link in the description. But basically, the workflow has three components. Speaker encoder, which takes your voice as input and generates a vector embedding that represents the essence or identity of your voice characteristics in compressed numerical form. The speaker encoder is trained with thousands of voices to be accurate. Next is the synthesizer, which takes in the text you want the subject to speak. The synthesizer with the help of voice embedding generates a synthesized spectrum of the words you want your subject to speak. The last one is neural vocoder, which converts the given male spectrum from the synthesizer to the time domain spectrum. I hope the video was entertaining useful or informative you should know there are lots more exciting videos on the line so i want you to like share and subscribe for more videos thank you